Bye, Felicia. Come on, Ungatas. Let's get sickening. That pretty much describes my VidCon experience. Hi, guys. Back to another video and welcome to Really Ungasha. Hi, guys. Okay, so first off, let me just say, this video was originally intended to be on my second channel, but for some weird-ass reason, I can't sign into it. Like, I don't know what's wrong, but every time I try to sign into it, I get this screen show up, so I don't really know what I'm meant to do. So, uh, I'm gonna have to try and work that out, but anyway, hi, hello! So yes, I am officially home from VidCon. It was the most amazing, amazing time of my life. But I'm gonna be talking about that a little bit later. But the topic of this, the main topic of this video, I want to talk about was jet lag. Is it jet lag or jet lag? Jet lag, jet lag, jet lee. Ah! Now, originally, I never thought anything about jet lag. I never thought I'd have it. I never thought it would bother me because, like, I've always been a good kind of person to stay awake and to sort of stay up if I need to. Now, I went to Canada a few years ago, and that's a f it was in Toronto, and that was a five-hour difference, and it didn't affect me whatsoever. I didn't even, it didn't even, it, like, it just it was just perfectly fine. So, I thought when going to America, it would be the same. I'd get there, it would be perfectly fine. And I was rather wrong. Fair enough, I will stress the difference between Toronto and LA was like, from here it was nine hours difference. So that is a big gap between five. So I flew on the plane, I sort of slept a little bit on the plane. I wasn't really too, cause like, I find it really hard to sleep on travels. I got there and I was like, oh, this is fine. I'm awake, I'm buzzing. And we like, it was fine. And then every single night for the first three nights we were there, we would all wake up at like in sync together at like 5 a.m. And we would start the day from then. And as time went on, my body, like my body clock did sort of shift and I sort of was fine. Now let me just tell you where the annoying stuff's happened. So the first day when I got home I was like okay I just slept most of the day because I was so fucking tired from travelling anyway so I just slept. The next few nights that were going on I literally stayed up all night for like three days. I didn't sleep. I could lay in bed every single night trying to get sleep, getting pissed off with myself because I couldn't sleep. So I've literally just been sort of surviving the last few like a week or so on naps, like naps randomly throughout the day, just like keeping me going. And I, I can't seem to like shift it back to normal and it's pissing me off. And the weird thing is, it's not like I'm not tired at night. I just can't get to sleep. Like I'm tired. I just can't switch off and I don't really know why. It's really stupid. Okay, so some other things I want to do want to talk about is yes, VidCon. It was the best time of my life. I literally, I, I cannot believe I haven't been before. I'm so angry at myself that it's taken me this long to actually go. I'm gonna be there next year, no matter what happens, I need to go again. It was so much fun. It was so weird being able to meet people that you've watched on YouTube for so long. Although you know they're real, it's almost like, Seeing them was like, you're really real, like you're, I can touch you, like, that's really creepy. I can touch you. <laughs> I love you guys, all of you, and I miss you all, and I cannot wait to see you again next year. Funny thing is about that, it actually took me like a week to even unpack, because I didn't want to accept that it was over. So like, I was there like, unpacking in such a fucking mess, I was like, this is so sad, because it's all over. So, obviously, if you do want to see my two videos, my LA video and my VidCon video are both up, so I'll leave some links here. There will be links in the description, so you can go watch the videos. But one thing I do say is, I'm actually going to be at Summer in the City this year as well. So make sure, if you're at Summer in the City, make sure you come and say hello to me. I met loads of you at VidCon as well, which was so exciting. So I'd love to meet more of you at Summer in the City. So make sure if you're there, come home at me and be like, Rowling! I'm like, hiya! And we can take pictures! And, and hopefully not talk like that. But yeah, so hi! I do have a comment of the week, and this this comment was from my VidCon video, and it comes from Mike McFadden, and he says, The woman at 1216 was my favourite part. Now, I need to tell you about this woman. Now, this woman, oh my god, <laughs> she was like balmy. On the way home, right, she had a drink, and it was of this like Bailey stuff, I don't even know what it was. And like, within like an hour or so of being on the plane, she tipped it over John, like she dropped it, and like tipped all over her leg, like his leg, her, ooh, John, you're a woman. It tipped all over his leg and he had to like go to the bathroom and dry himself off. It was, I, I was literally trying my hardest not to laugh because it was actually hilarious. And then she tried to explain to someone what she did and then she picked the cup up and did it again and spilt more all over him. I was literally like dying, like I was dying. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button because it really helps me out. Come and follow me on all my social medias. All my links are down below my Instagram and my Twitter and stuff and you know, come and follow me on all them because I constantly update that kind of stuff. My question of the video is, so have you got any like weird stories about jet lag, some things that have happened to you, I'd love to know. Um, and if you don't want to answer that question, please do some comments down below and I would love to read and I'll reply to all of you and I just adore you guys. Thank you so much for all your support. And yeah, so be yourself, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be and I love you guys and oh my god, ah! Ungasha! <sighs>
Cause